Sorry, I came over here to get some coconuts and um, was cracking open a coconut and I was thinking I should get this on TV and show you guys how to live in the middle of a desert, Bullhead City, Arizona. Look at this beautiful desert. favorite place. So I'm here trying to put my knife away. So I just showed up here. I am an in sync. In sync and on time. Everything is in sync. I just showed up here at the 99 cent only store and there's a fight going on in the parking lot. A old man, old man veteran, uh, Navy veteran and uh, some young bitch fighting with him in the truck over there. And I'd like to go park next to her and give her a piece of my mind, but she's gone. So I, I walk up and she's over there in her passenger seat with her door, her window rolled down. She's trying to um, beat up some old man <sighs> using a cane. And some other old guy over there yelling at him, just get in your car and leave. Just go, just go. You know, don't worry about it. Don't fight. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So I know the girl was just being a little bitch. And so then, um, so then I showed up. And like, there was no hope, man, but I showed up and I don't know, God told me the right things to say and I just felt it, you know, and I just, I was like, hey man, oh, these people, man. And so anyways, I just talked to him and I was telling him like, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. And he's like, oh, it'll be here flipping me off. I'm like, ah, it's not worth it, she's not worth it. Just remember who's worth, the only one, only one, man, there's only one that's fucking worth it. Give your energy to these bitches. Hell no! That guy, I got him in his car and out of that parking lot in less than 15 seconds, maybe 20, 30 seconds tops. Maybe, okay, 30 seconds. I'll give it 30 seconds, man. I turn around, his car is gone. It felt so good. But I was telling him, look, man, these bitches over here, they're already getting your plate and stuff. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. And I was like, I know, but it's not worth it, man. They're just not worth it. So anyways, um, I don't know. I talked to him. And um, I was telling him, you know, thank you for your service, and I appreciate you, and God appreciates you so much, and don't let these people take you down today, man. Don't let nobody get you down, man. Don't let these people take you down. You got love. You got love from God, baby. So anyways, I raised his spirit. I got him in his car. He was all scarred up and burned, and oh, man, this guy's been through a battle. He's been through battles, man. He don't need no more fucking battles, man. Nobody does. We don't need no more war. You heard Bob Marley? No more war, man. What we need is love. What we need is love to guide and protect us on. I don't need no more wars. Sad enough without your wars. So, man, it's just so important to, like, do whatever you can to bring up people's spirits. Try to make somebody happy today. I got my mom to worry about. You know, she's the only one I care about my whole fucking life. So I want to go do something to make her happy today. Every day I try to pretend it's Mother's Day. And I try to do something for her. And try to make her special. And, you know, I, I love her so much. And I don't want to argue with her. I don't want to argue with anybody. And none of us need to argue anymore. We need to stop. You know, they got shit going on in our heads. And we're all fighting with each other over this dumb, dumb, dumb shit. You know, even in our own homes, we're arguing with our loved ones over stupid shit constantly, all day. You know, it's dumb. So let's just start spreading love. It all starts within us. We start it. We start right now. Start spreading love. Spread that love. You know, don't look around and be like, where's the love? Stop.
starts with you. Starts right now. Starts right now. Let's do it. Let's spread some love. So I'm not done, man. I'm going to go find somebody else to love. I just look at this license plate. It says, boy, mom. I'm telling you. Last time I was in this parking lot, my mom wanted some coconut soap. And I kept forgetting this coconut soap. And every time I would go home, she'd be like, yeah, you didn't get my coconut soap. I kept asking you. I don't even ask him for two weeks. And then I finally, um, this was the day, this is day. I'm not going home without the coconut soap today. I'm not going to forget. And I was leaving this parking lot and I was driving out and the license plate said, um, Coco mom. And I was like, are you kidding me? It was like a reminder of the coconut soap for mom. I'm like what? And then that one, the plate, I just saw a boy mom. And I was like, really? I'm talking about mom again. Anyway, she's the love of my life. And if you still have your mom, man, I just beg you right now to go show her some love right now. Shut off YouTube, shut off Facebook, and go spend some time with mom.